So this is a Laquelic Atiritas from Noise Engineering, which is quite frankly awesome. I've had the benefit of having this module for quite some time and everything I seem to want to do with it, it does really well. It's a real Swiss Army knife of sound design. In terms of a huge palette of sounds that we can get between an A and a B oscillator that modulate each other, three different algorithms, morph, fold, modulate and damp controls, we've got pitches for the A and B, CV ins for the tone control and a single output. Let's turn up the sound gun into my sound card which is direct from the module play around with the knobs and see what sounds we can get. So it can be bonkers. It does clean sounds really well and we can really softly modulate, say the wave folding and get a slight increase in harmonics and tonal changes. But it really does full on harsh sounds really well that are perfect for things like filters and equalizers to really start sculpting sound. Let's start a simple gate sequence to modulate the amplitude of the output and start playing around and we'll look at adding some modulation. So I'm sequencing a low pass gate on the output and a low pass gate is a VCA and a soft low pass filter. If you imagine automating the volume of something and at the same time bringing down a high shelf of EQ or a soft low pass filter, this is the effect a low pass gate gives us. As the amplitude decreases, so do the higher frequencies and you can hear that playing. Just like we did when we had this drone in, let's play around and see what sort of tones we can get. go from the phase modulation mode to summation synthesis mode. to the VO mode. So lots of different tones as this low pass gate plucks away in the background. Let's look at adding some LFOs for some slow changes. Here's modulating the morph. And modulate. And the wave folder. Let's 
change the mode. Let's add a pitch sequence. So you can hear by using slow LFOs we can get these slow and soft changes that move smoothly between different tones. Removing the modulation, let's go to quite a clean sound. Now if we use an accent pattern or a separate source to trigger an envelope, we can start to add flourishes of harmonics by using a separate accent to the gate sequence. So if I've just cut between two different sequences, you may hear one of the notes in the middle of that gate pattern is now longer. I'm going to use that slightly longer envelope that I'm using to open this low pass gate to actually turn up and down the wave folder. You know we're getting these sort of harsh accents in there. We could use this on any of the parameters to modulate the tone. We could even modulate the pitch of oscillator B. And this is going to have a different effect in the different modes. Add an LFO to modulate the fold parameter. Another to morph. And the damping as well. So using a separate envelope triggered once within that sequence as an accent is a great musical way of getting both longer notes and some extra harmonics on certain parts of a sequence. We're going to go back to our sound just drawn in and here's the static tone that I'm getting from the Laquelic Iteritas. I'm going to use different random modulation sources, so rather than twisting the knobs, we can use a random modulation source to actually turn these knobs for us and create lots of infinite variation between the tones that come out. Here's a static tone again and I'll start to add the modulation. So here we're getting something that wouldn't be out of place on sort of a big Hollywood action sequence. Rather than leaving this drone in, I'm going to strike this low pass gate again so we get some rhythmic amplitude modulation. Let's 
some modulation into the pitch of oscillator B. You can hear it's great for loads of random modulation. I think I've said it already, but it's a real Swiss Army knife for sort of sound design, from softer tones to harsher tones. We could go on for ages building up bass lines, drum sounds, lead lines, um, overlapping sort of random arpeggio type sounds where we use different pitch sequences into the A and the B oscillators. It's sort of endless, like I said, from soft to harsh, but it really excels at these sort of razor blade cutting harsh sounds that work great into filters or EQs, it gives you a lot of sound to sculpt. To finish on, let's look at creating a percussion patch. So here's my starting sound to build up a percussion patch. Simple low drone. I start by striking this low pass gate. Simple low tone. Let's add an envelope to the pitch of oscillator A. Now that pitch modulation is going a little far, so I'm going to attenuate that envelope level. Here's my attenuator. I'm going to turn up the envelope modulation. something kick like let's add some random changes that move in time with this kick we can do that into oscillator B an LFO to modulate the morph. Going to use another envelope into the wave folder to use this to give us a burst of harmonics right at the start of the note. So you can hear we can get these low bass drum like tones and these tom like tones. So for drums, basses, or leads, it's really a great module for sound design. <laughs>